five is a is a let's say an open architecture. It's not open source, but it's an open architecture. Anybody can take the license and design what they want. This yes, because it's an open hardware group, which is a sub foundation of the Eclipse Foundation. Exactly. So it was created in, in Berkeley. The, uh, the, uh, the, ar the architecture, the ISA itself, was, was created in Berkeley. It's really interesting for universities to use because there's no licensing fee. So if I'm a young, if I'm a student looking at how to design microprocessors, I could take RISC V and try a bunch of things from IoT processors up to maybe, you know, uh, multi core, 10 cores, 12 cores, or even bigger if I want. Now, there's, it, it's a relatively new ISA. It's much newer than ARM, for instance. So I don't have the same class of high-end uh, cores that I have today for x86 or for ARM, but that's coming. So what we see is in universities, it's used quite a lot. Well, if you want to grow, if you want to grow an ecosystem, a great way is to get it in, in the schools, get young people playing with it so that they're familiar with it. It's coming into the lower end, the IoT markets today. And... Slowly by slowly, we expect it to grow up into all markets. Today, it's, for, again, for server CPUs, it's challenging because that software ecosystem I talked about takes at least maybe 10 years to grow. But Or, or more. Or, or more. But on the accelerator yeah. side, you yeah. might have more luck because there you're orchestrated by the CPU. So you don't have to have touch all the same elements of that software stack. And... On the, on the future of what does uh, Cypher right now, you have all the, so, so the VR1 will be out on the shelf like somewhere this year, something yeah, like that. Yeah, in production next year. And, and, and 